Hey Odo enthusiast, welcome to Cybroses. In today's video, I'll be showing how to create and add fields into college ERP that is a custom module. Right now we are in the list view and we can also just switch between different views such as Kanban, then form view. Upon clicking on view button, you can just navigate into the form view. But in all these cases, you can see that we cannot find any field over here. This is because we haven't any fields over here. So we just need to add fields into our custom module. So let's move on to the pie chart. So in the pie chart here, first we want to add the field. So if you want to add the field, first we have to import the field from Odoo. So here what we have to do is we have to use fields, uh, gen then use a, a comma and uh, um, we just need to give it like this. Afterwards, we just need to uh, use different uh, um, fields such as admission number, admission date, first name, last name, father's name, mother's name, communication address, then the permanent address. And uh, if the permanent address and communication are same, then we just need to hide the permanent address. And we also just need to uh, set uh, the email as well as phone number. So let's see how can we add all those fields. So while adding a field, we must use small letter. So first I just want to add the admission number. So let's say admission number over here and into which we will be storing our admission number. So we can say fields dot, then we just need to use the uh, care over here. And that is the type of the admission number. And in this case, we also just need to provide the string. So string is nothing but that is an attribute uh, that is used to provide the name. And this name will be visible in the UI. So here I'm going to provide it as admission name. And if this is mandatory, which means if this field is mandatory, we can just use the other uh, field called required. And let's say. Uh, true. So if you are setting it as required true, then it is mandatory to fill the uh, details over here. And uh, uh, in this case, we also just need to add the other field. So let me just uh, copy this and let's say that uh, we just want to add the other field called admission date. So let's make some alteration over here. And in this case, we just need to set it as date. And we know as we are just dealing with the field date over here, we have to set the type of the field as date. Okay, it won't be care. So we can just use the constructor date over here. And it is mandatory to set the uh, field over here. I mean, we just need to fill out the date uh, while taking the admission of a student. And we want to just provide the first name and last name of the student. So let's say first name, um, yeah, equal to fields.care. And while providing the type, ensure that you have given it as caps for the type. If you are just using small letter, that might create error. Now we just need to provide the string. And let's say first name. Which is a mandatory one. So we can just use the required let's say true now we just want to add uh, the last name so let me copy the same thing over here and let's alter the field name as last name and here also we just need to change well set now we want to add the father's name and mother's name. So let me consider this uh, field itself and we can set it as father name over here as a field name. And here in this case, the string will be father's name. So use apostrophe S over here uh, to set it as father's name. And we just want to provide the mother's name. So let's say the field name is mother name. And let's change the string as mother's name over here. And now we want to add the communication address. So I'll be adding the communication address as text field. Uh, and uh, I'll be considering the uh, permanent address as the address that will be given in the contact uh, form in Odoo. So first, let's consider the communication address field. So let's say communication. 
address and uh, let's say that yeah here we just need to make everything proper now let's see fields dot text and here we just want to provide the string that is communication address so string equal to communication address then it's required so we just need to set it as true now what we have to do is we also want to add the um yeah permanent address right so let's move on to Odoo and in Odoo as you just move on to the contact module over here you can see upon clicking on new button this shows the contact so here we have the address like street 1, street 2, city, state, zip, country and everything so I just want to set my permanent address in this format so if you want to find the fields over here you can easily find that so let's move on to the settings in the settings we can find uh, that we just need to enable the developer mode and if you want to find any fields over here or if you want to find any fields type we can also easily get that so again let me dive into the contact module in the contact module upon clicking on new button here you can see that we have just got the help icon over here that is the uh, tool uh, uh, tool that is used uh, to get uh, the um, help uh, over here so this shows the label of the uh, field the field that is given that is the field name as well as the model the type everything will be displayed over here and now if you want to find different types uh, of the field that is used you can just move on to the developer icon and here you can find fields so upon clicking on fields when you just search for street over here here you can find that we have different fields okay so let's search for street and this shows the field name, field label, model, field type, then uh, type, base field and everything. So if I'm searching for address, let's see what uh, is the result. So here we can find the contact address and the field label will be complete address. And here we can find the contact address in line and all. Now if you want to find the country. Uh, field you can also find that so here you can see the uh, type that is used for country is care as well as many to one uh, and here you can also find it as care over here now we just need to get this same structure and we just need to add this under uh, the uh, I mean under the um, custom module okay so again let's dive into uh, our module so let's say we will be diving and here let me search for street okay in order to search uh, the field in our um, add-ons you can just go with control shift f and this would allow you to search over here so here you can find different modules project everything i would like to search from modules so in this case you can find we have uh, many fields over here uh, which is given so let's say i'll be uh, copying street street to zip then city, state, uh, country, country code, email and phone. Okay. So these are the fields right now we want. Now let me copy everything. And afterwards, let's move on to uh, the pie charm. Okay. So we are in the pie charm itself. So I have copied that. Now I have uh, just given everything. So here you can find that we have different fields. Uh, that is like state and country and all. But when you just look into it. It has got mini to one as a type. So when we just use mini to one and um, mini to mini and one to mini, we have to make slight change in the naming of the ID. So if it's mini to one, we have to give it as ID. If it's mini to mini uh, type or one to mini, we just use uh, just need to give it as IDs. So in this case, there is a coding standard issue because uh, it's having the state and the country are having many to one as the type but we have given it as country and state so we just need to make change so if you have any doubt regarding this you can just dive into the Odoo and from here we have the field okay 
So as you just choose a field here, you can simply search for state. So as you just search for the state here, you will be getting half the field name is. So as it's made to one here, you can see that the name of the field is state ID. So like this, we have to give the name of the field. So it will be state ID. Okay. And here you can see that uh, it is having a core model to which it is related to. Okay. So first let's ex explain about the country. So as you... Uh, can see that this is also having the mini to one type we have to give it as country id so as you just move on to here you can see that in the udu you can simply search for country okay so under the country you can see uh, the field name is given as country id the field label is country which is the uh, name that is find under the ui and as you just open this here you can see the related model so this will be relating to the model risk country which means uh, under risk country we will be getting all the countries that is available in our database okay now again let's back to the uh, pie charm now from the country we know each country will be having different states so we just need to get the states from each country. So we will be relating it to restored country. That is the model. From that we want to get the state only. So we will be using the dot parameter and we will be calling the state over there. Okay. So restored country state. That is the core model. Okay. And from here we can find the string over here. That is fed dot uh, state. And this is the label or human readable name for the field in Odo's UI. Now here we can also find a domain. So this applies a filter to the selection of the state, which means when you just give country ID, it's a field in risk dot country state that links the state to the country. And we can find an operator over here that is equal uh, then a question mark. And this operator ensures that if a country is false or empty, no filtering is applied. Okay. And here we have the value that is country. So this is expecting to be another field in the current model that stores the country. So here you can see we have a field called country and uh, in, in that we we have just stored the countries. Okay. So uh, that's why we have provided the domain over here. Now afterwards we will be providing the email as well as uh, the phone number. So in this case we also uh, can see as you just move on to the model. Here you can find the contact. So let me just move on to the contacts and click on new. Here you can find the field called email and phone number. So we just need to get a label over there. So in order to get the label, we have to use the, uh, the attribute uh, that's called, uh, yeah, that's called string. So we just need to set it over here. So let's set string, which is email. And in this case, we just want to give this string as phone. So let's say phone. Now you can just render the file and let's see whether this is added in the UI. So here it's raising something error over there. I think field country referenced in the related field definition college student doesn't exist. So here we have got an error and we just need to sort out with this error. Now the issue can be easily recognized. We have just made a small change in the country um, field that as we know as it's a mini to one field we have just given it as country ID. So when we just call for the country code here you can see the related field is given as country dot code. Okay as we have made a change in the uh, field name we also just need to apply it over here. So it will be country id over here now let me again rent the file so as i just rent the file now if we have any issues with it we will be getting that right now there is no issue now let's back to odoo and in odoo um let's upgrade the module so let's move on to the apps and we just need to upgrade our module and let's see whether we are getting the fields uh, in our college erp So here you can see that we have added many fields, but we cannot find all those fields under the list view as well as under the Kanban view. This is because we haven't created list view and Kanban view, but we have just uh, like set that the view mode as list view and Kanban view. But we also just need to add all those fields under the list view and Kanban view. Then only we will be getting all those fields over here. 
Now upon clicking on new button here you can see that the fields is currently added into the form. But we just need to make some rearrangements over here because this is slight messy because everything is just scattered in our sheet over here. So we just need to rearrange and set everything in the form view. So uh, in next video we will be talking about what are views and uh, um, how can we just add the fields into different views. So if you find this video informative please do like, share and subscribe our channel and if you want Odoo tutorials as well as Odoo customization, Odoo implementations, feel free to contact Cybrosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one.